my interest in becoming a maker is a little bit abstract to try to define. I always had an affinity for, for materials. My entire life I've worked around mechanical things. I grew up around an auto body shop as a family business and had a, a real aptitude for manipulating material. So when I came to art school as an 18 year old student, not really knowing how to fit in or, or find my place, the material of woodworking and the process of woodworking was a, was a good fit. I re really respond to wood as the primary material I use currently in my studio practice just because it kind of has a known place in the world. I really respond to the patterning, the texture. I also draw and paint a lot on my work. And I, that's kind of the root of my studio practice and why I got interested in art in the first place is sort of the manipulation of paint on surface. And that tends to be a primary material of the work. Wood's the building structure, but the paint and the finish is the presentation. What you do five steps in the future is reflective of what you're doing right now with the material. So if you don't know how to execute those steps properly, it can really burden the project down the road. We are teaching students to initiate a problem for themselves, see that problem through many levels of execution, and then the final execution of that problem. What tends to be unique about what we do, being in an art school environment, we encourage the students to really pursue their passion as far as the level of functionality or the level of craftsmanship that their work takes on. You kind of, I think as a student, you find your best fit as you go and, and furniture design was a good fit for me.